course, we continue with matters right here uh, on Good Morning Namibia, coming to you from Swakopmund, where the eighth edition of the Broadcast and Digital Media Convention just concluded, organized by Saba and powered by the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation. My next guest is, of course, somebody who's been instrumental and very key uh, in uh, this convention. That's none other than the president of the Southern Africa Broadcasters Association and who also doubles as director general of the Namibia Broadcasting Corporation. Mr. Stanis Emilo, very good morning to you. Morning, Dishishi. Morning to the viewers. How are you doing? And I ask that genuinely because it's been a very busy week for you. <laughs> yeah, quite a crazy one, yeah. but also very rewarding. Very much. Very, very rewarding. Very much indeed. How do you reflect on the just concluded convention uh, first and foremost? Yeah. No, uh, spirits are extremely positive. I think the first thing for the country is the tourism injection. Yeah. I mean, yes. quite a big thing. Quite a big thing yeah. because like from uh, Monday up to this morning, yeah. the colleagues that came from all over Africa and beyond were saying, no, they're going to come back to Namibia yeah. because yeah. they've seen just through Swakop what this country offers. Exactly. So that f from a national perspective in terms of uh, also promoting the country, sure. I think went extremely yes. well. Yes. But in terms of the convention, I think we most probably we've undone ourselves in Absolutely. terms of the delivery, in terms of the topics, yeah. the engagements. We really had a very, very broad society yes. of experts in this field, people who know exactly. And as you know, our discussions were predominantly uh, premiered with the underlying theme of artificial yeah. intelligence. Yeah, We were able to garner these thoughts and start talking and understanding who already is applying yes. mm -hmm. AI and what are the potential pitfalls and all of that, yes. yeah. And um, in the main, the consensus is very clear. We need to embrace yeah. the new way I of doing things. I think that's the things. common message that yes, came yeah. from it, yeah. And in particular yesterday, we had a discussion where we were looking at the regulatory framework yes. that would seek to govern yeah. the application of AI. Yeah. That's one. And then secondly, if you would be looking at entities that are quite big in terms of staff numbers, yeah. the fear of, of, losses. of, of staff yeah. thinking that I'll lose my job, yeah. well, it, it can't be there. It will rather be a matter of how do we repurpose exactly. whatever people would be doing. But on the other hand, for those that would have um, a, a complement that is relatively small, yeah. AI can then step in, you know, yeah. and, 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 and sort of like, complement what the ordinary individual would not so yeah so for us India, yes yeah. yes yeah very much yeah. and uh, and i want to speak to you as director general now of the okay, NBC okay. as well <laughs> and as far as artificial intelligence is concerned uh where is the nbc uh, when it comes to ai yeah i think the the application thereof now is to a limited extent most probably in the region of about five percent okay. but that is also just to assist with the mundane aspects of scripting yes. and so on yes and, uh, but still, human intervention does so, come yeah, in yeah. because you still need to go back, cross-check, make sure that the context is proper. Absolutely. Because yeah. as the human being with the human feel mm -hmm. around what you need to do, yes, you can have the system yeah. by using its systems to help you to narrate, but you still need to go in and make sure that the story reads the way it should be. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but post this process, we will have our own internal discussion to look and see how we best we can do this. Very much, very much indeed. Of course, they always say after a conference, after a convention, uh, the big question is what's next? What are the more immediate deliverables, etc.? cetera? Yes. Uh, talk to us about ESABA, uh, about yeah. those, yeah. yeah. ESABA normally post our, all our conferences, what we typically we do from a secretariat perspective. Yeah. We will then take to everything that we've done in consultation with uh, Broadcast Media Africa, our partner, yes. and then we will go through that to see what were the issues that were raised, yeah. what were the successes, and we're hoping that from uh, the successes that others who might not have thought of it, they must start implementing. True. Yeah. And then for the challenges that are there, we then find ways to say, how do we deal with this? Yeah. And then on the basis of that, that then informs as to what the next steps would be. Would be yes. Because at any given time in a year, yeah. We normally have a couple of uh, these activities running in yeah. different countries. Fantastic. Namibia so happened to be the one to host this yeah. particular convention. And you narrated that story, of course, of how you stepped in, assisted uh, your sister, your broadcaster yes, yes, in the yeah. Seychelles. Seychelles, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. That's what we do. It's, it's that spirit 
of being there when things don't work. Because ultimately for us, and particularly for me, remember as president of Saba, you sit in a position where you need to give leadership to 16 country yeah, entities right. with a population size of just over 350 million. So yeah. decisions taken in terms of implementation can have a very, very Broad massive impact, yes. impact yeah. on the lives of people. Yeah. So that responsibility in its own, it is not just something that you take <laughs> lightly, massive, but yeah. again, being professional, being ethical, uh, doing what we know is correct. True. You, 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 you just have to have propensity for positivity. Yes. And that's what we would want to see happening. Absolutely. This convention uh, was to tie in with the 31st uh, yes. annual general meeting of Saba as well. Yes. Could you please provide us with yes. an update in on that? Yes, in terms of the AGM, we unfortunately had to uh, postpone it yeah. because we've discovered that with our arrival here that uh, many of our substantive directors could not make it because many of them are also having elections running where they are and also you know as broadcasters yeah. yes i think it most probably would have been the same for me if i would have been in that position yeah. because as namibia we are currently right the within season, the elections yes. yeah and talking of the elections i i got a little bit of disturbing news uh, yesterday i think one of our presenter reporters seemingly went through i don't know should i call it a situation where an entity one of the local parties was threatening and that can be right. Either today, between today and Monday, I'm going to be lodging a complaint yep. to the party via the elections committee because yes. our journalists must feel okay. safe. Yes. Must feel safe. Yes. I yes. saw the text yesterday sent to me, but we'll be taking that up. Yes. And we're hoping it was mostly a spur of the moment thing, type yes. of thing. Yeah. yeah. But yes. we can't have a situation where journalists must feel yes. scared in terms of. And the bad part is it's a secretary general of a party of that party, is yes. will be partaking in the elections, yeah. yeah. But that's something that we will deal with, yeah. Much, okay. But all in all, Ndishishi, uh, uh, I think uh, as, as both DG and as uh, the so president of Saba, yeah. I think I'm happy with how things have panned out. Yeah. And also, the testimony from uh, people that were here is as such that things must move. And also for us as an organization, NBC, uh, I mean, the, the TVU, uh, African rep was just here now. Yes. We're going to try and see if we cannot get a hold of some of the equipment because already yesterday in our discussions we talked around how this thing should do. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Just as we conclude, uh, Mr. Similo, of course you have about a year left. Yes. Uh, a year from now, yes. uh, this convention, this AGM will be going yes. to Zimbabwe and possibly yes. the president. No, we're going to Zimbabwe. We're going to Zimbabwe. Because we got commitment <laughs> yeah. from, the, from minister, the minister, minister yes. and, yeah. and the the ambassador yes. uh, uh, of Zimbabwe to Namibia. Very so that is in place. That is set, yeah. Our yeah. job has already started today it's because today. we must already start planning Planning for, for that. Yeah. Of course, in your year left uh, as our president, what else would you like to see? I know Saba TV was something that you're very passionate about, yes. something that you've been working uh, very hard towards. Just talk to us about uh, the next year, what it looks like for Stanley Simula as president of Saba, and of course the legacy that you'd like to leave yeah. as Saba president here. Well, as for the Saba TV channel, uh, yesterday again, I had some discussions with one of our technical partners who came in. He's from India. It seems like they might help us to get quicker toward what we want to, because yesterday when I gave a report on that, I did indicate that the aspect of funding is the one that is not working. As to the presidency of Saba, I'm still the president. <laughs> yeah. I've got a job to do, yes. so I'm going to focus on that for now. Fantastic stuff. Thank you. Zismila, thank you for being with us. All the best to you, and uh, congratulations on a well-organized, uh, well-attended uh, convention. And I must say the, the topics were impactful, the discussions were impactful, the speakers were absolutely phenomenal. Congratulations to you and the team. Yeah. Let me also thank you, as the chairman has said, our chairman last night. The NBC has been able to relay what was happening here from day one. And I always would say that we might look great, but if it's not for people like you, the camera people, sound, people at vision mixing, final control and all of that, and the support from HR, finance and all of those, this NBC cannot exist. Yeah, it's because of you that we look great. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. We have it. Stanley Similo, Director General of the Namibia Broadcasting Corporation and President 
of the Southern Africa Broadcasters Association, of course, organizing this just concluded eighth edition of the Broadcast and Digital Media Convention that took place here in Swakopmund under a very important theme looking at how AI is being infused into the digital ecosystem, into the broadcasting ecosystem. Very key conversations there, very key outcomes. And of course, they look forward to going to Zimbabwe uh, next year for that ninth edition of the convention and looking at that 32nd uh, AGM as well. Of course, the next year will also conclude the reign of Mr. Similo as Saba president, uh, having been the president of Saba since 2016. Well, that concludes our segment this morning. Our contributions from Swakopmund, Denver, and Dapewa. It's back to you. But before, let's leave you with some beautiful sights and sounds of Swakopmund.